In this little video, we're going to look at three constructions, uh, but the first two depend on something we've seen before, which is a perpendicular bisector of two points. Now, we've got two points here. We're just going to run through quickly how we draw the perpendicular bisector. Well, from each point, open up your compass to about sort of three quarters of the way between the two points, and then without changing the opening compass, draw two arcs which cut each other, like that. Now, the perpendicular bisector is a line which goes through the two crossing points, the two intersection points. Now, that's an important technique. Uh, this is a perpendicular bisector. It's at right angles to the line between the two points, and it's exactly halfway. So, how do we use that to do another construction, which is to draw a perpendicular line from a point on a line? In other words, we want a line which is going through P, which is perpendicular to the other line. Well, we use the perpendicular bisector idea. What we need, of course, is to draw a perpendicular bisector of two points on either side of P. And they've got to be the same distance. How do we get two points the same distance? Well, the quickest and easiest way is to use a compass. Now, if we have a compass, we open it up to a certain distance and just mark those two things without changing the opening. That is the same distance from P as that is. So now, if we draw the perpendicular bisector of those two points, we're going to get a perpendicular line through P, um, which is what we want. So, perpendicular bisector, connect the line, and that line is now perpendicular to the other line, and it goes through P. It's a perpendicular from a point on a line. The next construction um, sounds very similar, but it's not quite the same. It's a perpendicular from a point to a line. This time the point P is not on the line, it's away from it. How do we uh, draw a line which comes down and hits this line at right angles? Well, once again, we use a perpendicular bisector, but we've already got part of it, because one end of our perpendicular bisector has got to go through P. But what about the other end? Well, start by just drawing an arc across there. Now, those two points are the same distance from P. If we can use these two points to draw arcs down here, without opening the compass between them, without changing the opening of the compass between them, then we will have done it. So let's draw two arcs and see where they intersect. Now, when we join up that line, it's at right angles to the other line, and it comes from the point P, which is exactly what we were asked to do but it's like doing sort of half of a perpendicular bisector. Now, in this we have to draw an angle of 60 degrees, and this involves remembering uh, that a, an equilateral triangle has got 60 degree angles in it. Now, we're asked to draw uh, an angle of 60 degrees, say, from this point. So we want a line going up there at 60 degrees to the line that's already there. Well, as I've said, if we can draw an equilateral triangle, we'll have done it. So, what I'm going to do is draw an equilateral triangle where the side length is this base line. And I've opened up the compass to the length of the line and drawn this arc from this point here, like that. I'm now going to set my compass point to the other end of the line and draw an arc with the same opening, because it actually is the same length as the line. Now, when I connect up that point, that distance is the same as that distance, and this angle is 60. But um, we've, we've done the first part of it, uh, but I haven't quite explained why we've done the first part of it. Well, we need to complete the triangle. And I want you to think, this distance is the same as this distance, because they've been drawn from the same opening. Uh, this distance here is the same as this distance here because of the same opening, so all the distances are the same, and so all the angles are the same. So we've done them both. We've drawn an angle of 60 where we wanted it, but we've gone on further to draw an equilateral triangle. Either may, up, may turn up in the GCSE as a question. <laughs>